Hi, my name is Jay, and I live in Hemet, California. July of 2009, it just hit us like a ton of bricks. Like, how did that happen? There was no reason, there was no rhyme or reason. There were no telltale signs. I was admitted to the hospital, and I was told that I had stage three chronic kidney disease. And then on top of that, an autoimmune disorder. May of 2011, I was hospitalized the second time, and then that's when they actually did the emergency dialysis. We kind of had an idea what kidney disease was, but not really what it entailed. And when I was in the uh, in the ER, and the doctor would talk to my wife about what needed to be done, she talked to me and said, you know, you might need dialysis. Do you know what that is? I'm like, oh yeah, I know what it is. It means my oil's getting changed. That's about as much as my comprehension of what dialysis was at that time. I feel patient education is very important because it helps the patient feel empowered, feel knowledgeable, feel more in control. My wife was essentially the main one who did a lot of the research. She knew exactly what the doctors were doing, why they were doing it, keeping me informed of things, because a lot of times I wouldn't be told what was going on. I would have been lost had my wife not been there to support me. There's a lot of different resources, and it was really challenging because a lot of this, a lot of the medical sites only gave the technical terms, not anything that was really easy for someone to read and say, oh, okay, this is what this value means. It's just a matter of finding the one that speaks to you personally, the one that you can read off the page really easily. In 2011, I started an ESRD group on Facebook, and it just kept growing and growing and growing. The biggest thing that I wanted was basically people to share how they felt about the disease in order for other people to come in and go, okay, I know what you're going through. I know how you're feeling. This is, how, this is what I did or this is how I was able to help with that.